Hello and welcome to A Keeper of the Prophecies, a uh, fan mission in uh, nine episodes, I mean nine levels. Although apparently the first two levels are each two parts, so I guess that makes it a total of eleven levels. So this should be quite a long series, I expect. As usual, we're playing on middle difficulty hard, so let's get started. Well, okay, that was less a briefing than a, uh, just a logo, or Frobber. I assume that's the name of the creator, I forgot to check who made this mission. Uh, difficulty hard. Alicia has gone to collect your new eye from the hammers. Collect the eye from her when she returns. You are not a murderer, at least not most of the time, so let's not have you killing any unarmed people in the neighbourhood. Sounds right. The Enterprise. The trickster is dead, and you have saved the world. Just as the keepers had prophesied. But you lost an eye for your trouble. And the promise of a hundred thousand gold. Such a dreadful reward for a keeper of the prophecies. What if you had another chance? What if great wealth were just around the corner? Could you say yes? Could you say no? Garrett's apartment. Well, he's just woken up and it's raining. Someone's left a note for us. Garrett, if you are sober enough to read this, I'm with Cavador of the Hammerites this evening to retrieve your new eye. This is a truly remarkable device, and for you to despise the hammers for trying to help you only reveals how extreme your own reclusive and self destructive tendencies have become. It is a pathetic image to see you clawing around the edges of wealth and rummaging through old wine cellars like this, when you could have easily had a much better life away from this old village. You are right when you say that you don't do relationships. Once I return with your new eye, I will depart, as you have demanded, but not without answering one of your arguments. We are the central agents controlling our own destiny, not the Keepers, not some religion, not your father's wealth. Yes, we make mistakes, troubles come our way. And sometimes we suffer. But if we don't even bother to steer the ship at all, then the winds and eddies of destiny will control us and take us where they may. It's your ship to steer, Garrett, your life to live, and that's all you have to do, Alicia. <gasps> Over here, help! There's been a murder! Is that a body? I better check that out. My window is too small for me to climb out. I'll have to find another way out. Uh, oh, what's this? A note. I tried to burn ineffectually. Mr. Garrett, your silent refusal is troubling. Have we not made ourselves clear? Have we not offered enough compensation? We wish only to examine the Hammerite mechanical device. Within one business day, it will be returned in perfect condition, ready to replace your missing eye. 
and yet you adore us. Do not think that your association with the Master's daughter will hinder those within our organization who, unlike myself, are not so willing to negotiate. Extremely unpleasant consequences will greet further silence. Pinchenden, agent of Solastus Industries. Well, someone wants to see my eye, but I do not care. I don't want them to. Let's get my uh, equipment here. So, what do we got? Sword, blackjack, four broadheads, six moss arrows, one gas arrow, two rope arrows, three noise makers, not a single water arrow. And here, two gas mines, one flash mine, in lockpicks as usual, uh, and two explosive mines. My goal is not to kill anybody, even if they are armed, but uh, it's useful to have a plan B in case uh, plan A of sneaking past undetected never works. Alright, let's go out into the rain, let's see if we can see what this uh, body is about. Oh, this is not good. Uh, that's Alicia, and she's quite dead. What's the note say? Keeper Garrett, by this document I have transferred possession of thy new eye unto Lady Alicia, and I must say thou art most fortunate to have such a pleasant subject for thy soon-to-be-improved vision. Beest thou forewarned that this device doth require recalibration from time to time, and also knowest thou that a new remote device will soon appear for thy further inspection. Cavador, assistant to the chief alchemist. Uh, so our, diff our objective to meet Alicia and collect the new eye from her has been cancelled because she's dead and she doesn't have the eye. If you have been reading your mail, you can already guess that your new eye has been taken to Solastus Industries. Go there. Mission continues in part two. Alright, what's the notice here? Final eviction notice. Due to thy continuing non-payment of rent, thou shalt depart these premises. If after one hour, shouldst thou yet be again be discovered within this space, thou and thy children shalt be forcibly removed and bodily cast into the street. Old village properties. Well, they're uh, friendly landlords. I must say. Doesn't look like there's anything in the well. There's a window there. Ah, there's a window here. It doesn't actually go anywhere. Alright. Nothing. So let's go. Uh, well, somebody's asleep. Can't open the door. I guess I'll leave him to it. Well, that's a dead end. Do I actually have a map? I never checked. No, I don't. Uh, not going that way, and not going to be able to swim up there. in the canal. Oh, it just takes me back here. This is, this is weird, this feels like, yeah, this is like a remake of uh, that part of the city, the home turf in Assassins, um, or the entrance to the Lost City, which would be right here, which has been bricked up, clearly. That's interesting. Can I fit through here? 
No, it's just too narrow. All right. Let's get out of here. Ooh, what's this? My dearest Jadifni, thankfully the couriers still deliver our mail. I will bring aid such as I have collected, but I must be careful. The usual exits from the Enterprise are now close to us, and I dare not be caught again for trying unapproved methods. Forgive me for not coming to you sooner. Please hold out a little longer. Give a t kiss to the children. I will come. Your loving husband, Santis Colt. Are they asleep? No, they're dead. Is that somebody's asleep, but it's not them? Is that the woman and her children who were evicted? That's. And they were sleeping in this unsheltered corner and died. That's not great. Solastus Industries, authorized personnel only. Well, Okay. Somebody's asleep on duty. Yeah. All right, I found my way to Solisus Industries, who have taken my eye. Uh, that's part one. Uh, there's no loot to find. Uh, there was one secret and I didn't find it. Alright. That's fine. Let's carry on. Part 2. Find your new eye somewhere inside Solstice Industries. It's the end of the month. Time to stop drinking the profits and pay the bills. Pick up at least 12.50 in loot. You are not a hack, so let's not see you killing anyone tonight who's unarmed. Professionals don't wear out their welcome. When you have your new eye and enough loot, leave the area. The only difference is the amount of loot and uh, not killing anyone, I'm an expert. Okay. Eight fifty five PM after a walk along the ocean. What? I thought I was just entered Solstice Industries. Why am I in some caves now? Alright, well, I'm going to make a save here. I'm a little confused. But, uh... It doesn't look like I can successfully get across there. There's a bridge that... sort of thing that's folded down. Maybe I can find a way to leave it open. I'm confused by suddenly not being anywhere near where I was... after the last mission, but... Okay, we'll go along with it for now. Also, this weird view into the sky, I guess, as rain and fog, and it just looks grey. Very faintly see rain there. Left sides. Is there anything over here? More walls, covering vines, which I don't think I can climb. The vines are uh, a common model in Thief 2 missions, and uh, some fan missions make them climbable, and they're not climbable in the original, in Thief 2. Some fan missions make them into ladders, and it's often hard to guess whether they're meant to be or not. What have we got here? The security alert will remain in effect until further notice. Is this a backdoor of Solstice? Uh, do I have a map now? I do have a map now. Uh, caves, library, lobby, master suite, main entrance is down there. I don't know where I am. Nothing obviously on any of those areas. 
Security alert, this is a door I cannot open. I wonder if I can jump across that gap then, because I haven't found any other way to to deal with it. Uh, except we're getting stuck on terrain. So it's very weirdly bright in uh, these caves, even the dark parts. I've got the gamma turns quite a long way down, and yet it's still very bright. It's interesting. Uh, do I think I could jump that? Let's save and find out. I think not. Uh, in fact, I hit an invisible wall, I think, before I... Well, let's try again. Yeah, there's an invisible wall there, alright, but I'm definitely not meant to go that way. So I am meant to go up somewhere. So I guess the main gate I entered in the previous mission was just leading into their grounds rather than into the building. And so this is now... Somehow I've gone around the outside. I'm looking for a way in. Nothing there. Unless there's a door hiding. Aha! Unless there's a door hiding behind these vines, he says. As he stumbles on it. That will do nicely then. Obviously, nobody's used this door in a long time. Or it wouldn't have got overgrown like this. Well, I'll keep it open as a escape route. Now, there's no map show me where I am. No. So I'll check it when I think I'm in a room I can identify, I guess. Anybody home? Uh, they don't look too healthy. I'm going to the lift. Bring that down a minute. Let's go check on this guard post. Can't hear him snoring. So what happened? Is it an apple? Is it a poison apple? Phlegmus, your sloth and lack of vigilance have brought me before the wrath of Master Celestus. Should it happen again that you are discovered absent from your post, from the very pathway of escape for our master, I shall instruct the Lictor to exhaust himself applying stripes to your worthless carcass. Faustus, Captain of the Guards. Right, so this is an escape route for the Master of Celestis. Alright, that's what she's supposed to know. There is a guard to guard it. So does that not work? It does work, it's just very noisy. Noisy clunks and not a noisy lift. Seems quieter than the usual ones. Alright, well let's go upstairs, see what we can find. Not too bright here, and if anyone to see me. Uh, is that another dead guard? What is going on here? Oh, that's a very cunningly hidden. I see it is a secret escape route after all, that elevator. I wonder what this guy was guarding. He also has an apple. I think I shouldn't eat those apples, right? I'm gonna save and try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they hurt me. <sighs> Nice. <laughs> uh, let's not do that. Uh, where's the apples? Let's just drop them because uh, I'll stack them up nicely. 
Ooh, there's a gun out there still alive. Sergeant Zasulage, on pain of death, thou shalt protect this. Ooh. God just came out. Thou shalt protect this lockbox. Uh, until the master's key hath been found. Foster's captain of the guards. Okay. Master's key has got to be useful. Find it. That's a new objective there. It's a noisy light switch. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Don't turn it on and off too fast or it breaks. Where is this archer? I also noticed that uh, these guys are in green uniform, the dead guys. The archer was wearing red. I wonder if he's from a different group. I'll uh, check out that meeting room in a minute. Ooh. Is this the archer? Somebody upstairs. Yes. I see, he must be going around in a circle. Let's make him stop doing that, shall we? There's one outside. Let's see what's upstairs. Guards who are supposed to be guarding the masters. Uh, well, his his escape route, for example, are dead. Oh, footsteps. Who's there? Nobody. <gasps> Nobody. You need to get out. So, I'm wondering what's happened here. Is the master escaped and poisoned his own guards? Or is somebody else taking over and taking the master? Things to do. Remove Hastus and Remus for sloth and treachery. Done. Transfer slackers to test chamber duty. Fill hell holes with malcontents. Hire more hammer trained alchemists. Find a first rate liptor for the night shift. Night shift. Have guards flogged for pool desecration. I guess they were pissing in the pool. Increase funding for Project Vision. Obtain the Hammerite Eye by any means. Alicia, where is she? Finish transfer of ownership contract. See Dr. Grindius about numbness in legs. Well, I hope your legs fall off. Take your valuables at any rate. Nothing on this table, right? Yeah. Right. What's happened here? Master Solustus, as you can see for yourself, I have succeeded this very evening in my efforts to procure a working sample of the Hammerite Eye. And as instructed, I am hand-delivering this device here to your chambers. I also leave with you the windfall of a certain handwritten journal that you may find of particular interest. As far as I am concerned, this journal does not exist. A. H. Franticus, Esquire. Ah, Franticus, actually. Oh, so it's got a nice hot tub. What's, who's been reading the journal on the toilet? What does it say? Day one. If there is a Garrett living in our town, he must be a ghost. No one has heard of him. For three days I have investigated the local inns, taverns, and those places of lesser repute, and the name generates little more than a blank stare. My father remains convinced that this Garrett somehow does exist, but I am starting to harbour my own doubts. Day two. As requested, this morning I spoke with my father's closest advisor, the pompous, blustery, and overly ambitious Councillor Franticius, who has offered the full extent of his resources to aid in my search for Garrett. Although I would prefer to work independently, I cannot keep my father waiting. The boundary within my family between those of his children he considers a resource and those he considers a danger is very thin indeed. And if working with Franticius can preserve my interests and my life, then I will work with him. Later today I have learned that Councillor Franticius has made arrangements with a local private investigator, a Mr. Pinchinden. 
My oh my, such a small world. Pinchenden is an old associate of mine. An employee, actually, until I caught him spying on me. To be entirely candid, I always preferred Pinchenden's written reports to his less than enchanting personal company. But his investigations are thorough. And if this Garrett does exist, I will find him sooner this way. I just wish I didn't need any help from Pinchenden. Or from Franticius, for that matter. Day 10. Even the best investigators can have their troubles. Garrett does exist, it seems, but his exact whereabouts are still unknown after more than a week of scouring. At least I am not chasing a ghost any longer. According to Franticius, Pinchenden claims that Garrett lives somewhere in the old village section of town. But Franticius was reluctant to supply this information to me, and I am beginning to suspect that he may have his own reasons for wanting to locate Garrett. Day 13. Apparently this Garrett has been away from the old village for some time, and according to one last scrap of information from Franticius, he has been injured in some unspecified way. So I paid a visit to Dr. Grindius, and his assistant tells me that just yesterday, Garrett sought treatment, having lost his right eye in battle. How disgusting. Citing client doctor privilege, the doctor himself refused to supply details, but at least I am making my own discoveries again. Progress. Day 15. A one-eyed man is easier to locate than one with both eyes. With that description in hand, I spoke with the local landlord who owns most of the old village. A particularly imposing character, I might add. With some careful persuasion, I learned from him that Garrett rents one of his apartments, and it can be found at the end of an alley where the river disappears underground. This is actually quite close to the south entrance of the Enterprise. So it seems that Garrett has been living nearly under our feet. Day 21. Now that I know where Garrett lives, I no longer need Pinchenden. Instead, I have set up my own watch. And thus far, Garrett has only left his apartment once, again to visit Dr. Grindius just last evening. Afterwards, he vanished for the night, returning home in the early morning hours. My men attempted to follow him, but that was an impossible task. Perhaps he really is a ghost. We have watched now for nearly a week, and this cat and mouse approach is becoming dangerously tedious. My father is an impatient man, and I must have some answers soon. Day 23. Today my men helped to create a disturbance in the alley below Garrett's windows, hoping to draw his attention. Acting as though I were being attacked, we yelled and made all sorts of sword clanging, until suddenly the street was awash in unconscious men, with only Garrett now standing over me waving his blackjack. As I thanked him for my rescue, a strange expression began to form on his face. What rescue? he asked. I was just trying to get some sleep. I laughed, but I realised he was being serious. Pretending to have strained my ankle, I managed to gain access to Garrett's apartment. He was wary and uncertain about this at first, but there seems to be a decent part of him that genuinely wants to help, and so he allowed me to sit by his fireplace into the evening. Later Garrett left, allowing me to stay here for the night, and now in the morning he has returned with valuables clearly stolen from some nobility. No wonder he wishes to remain anonymous. Day 25 I am now guessing that Garrett lost his eye in the service of the Hammerites, since he continues to receive multiple invitations from them offering a mechanical replacement. But he rebuffs these offers, saying only how he's had enough of them, despite messengers like the one this morning. Before Garrett rebuffed today's visitor, I was able to listen at the open window to a description of how this eye will not just fill the space, but actually replace Garrett's very own vision. Such a creation! Then the messenger spoke of how the Hammerites may soon withdraw their offer. Day 26. To understand more about this eye, I am met with an old connection I have among the Hammers, Brother Cavador, who has been the assistant to several of their chief alchemists. From Cavador I learned of his newest master, a bookish counterphobic who has childishly begun to show his umbrage at Garrett's silence by hurling threats he dare not consummate. How such an unstable character as this could ever ascend to chief alchemist of the Hammerite is a mystery almost as great as why Garrett lives the way he does, inviting all sorts of trouble and creating unnecessary enemies. Day 27. I see now that Pinchenden's involvement was a mistake. Evidently he has been hired by others to learn more about the eye itself and, if possible, obtain his own copy. However, there is only one working copy and this is promised to Garrett. So Pinchenden has begun delivering a growing mixture of threats and promises to Garrett's doorstep, hoping to acquire this eye under the pretense of borrowing it for study. Garrett's opinion of these threatening notes? Fine kindling. Today I will attempt some answers for my father. If I can work out a useful analysis in this journal, then perhaps I will send him something. 
What does Garrett want most? He says he wants wealth, but it appears that he mainly wishes to live without the need to work, if one can call his occupation work. And that sounds more like the desire for a comfortable retirement, not control over the instruments of power. Garrett does not understand how wealth at its core is not freedom from responsibility, but rather the total domination of others. And in this regard, he barely shows the personality of power that must always accompany the genuinely rich. As much as he might claim otherwise, he would make a poor rich man. He wants freedom, not wealth. How did he lose, really lose his eye? Garrett is willing to let me believe whatever I want on this topic, and he seems more than happy with my theory that it was during his service with the Hammerites, making fun of the whole situation as though it were a great joke being played on him. But it is fairly obvious that his attempts at humour cover the truth and pain of it all. Sometimes Garrett hides his face and cries out in his sleep with the name Victoria. How could a woman have been so involved in a battle injury? Yet another mystery he will not explain. Day 29. Now I have had enough of this eye. Pinchenden's threats grow. The Hammerites are becoming dangerously annoyed, and Garrett wanders half blind for no good reason at all. I sent word to Cavador to see if his master will release the eye to me, and I have received an invitation to visit them tonight for this purpose. Once I deliver the eye to Garrett, I will end my mission. It has become increasingly taxing to maintain appearances while Garrett strongly suspects my motives at every turn. If only he understood my true motives. Now for that final question. Yes, it does appear that Garrett was once associated with the secret order of the Keepers, and this may explain his education in the affairs of the world. But he never openly admits to having been a member, and reviles any mention of them, seeing the Keepers more as prison wardens than friends. I have asked Garrett if I might ever find these Keepers to see how they live, and to learn from them myself. With a laugh he told me, not unless you can float through walls. How disappointing. Over the years I have spent many days in libraries and spoken with the old and wise of this town, and I have heard that these keepers are quite a group. They walk among us seen or unseen as much as they wish, and they possess in their own libraries all that has ever been learned. How did the keepers gain so much hidden wisdom? What is the source of their great knowledge and power? I certainly want to know this, even if Garrett does not. Some of them are prophets, it is said, and every prophet must have an oracle. This is the end of my journal. Alas, I will fill no great libraries with my own books. The effort to record and organise events is of great value, but I must always burn these books in the end lest my true thoughts and feelings fall into my father's hands. Perhaps Gareth will not complain if I bring a little extra kindling tonight, once I have returned from my meeting with Cavador. Alright, that appears to be Alicia's journal. Uh, that uh, Franticius got hold of and delivered to Master Solustus. Interesting. So Alicia was first contacting Franticius and Pen Pendenton, whatever his name is, to find Garrett. I don't understand why she was looking for me. Who is her father the master here? I don't know that either. Hmm. Although, if her job was to try and preserve her life being under threat because her father considered her a risk that would partially explain it all right uh, hmm still we're gonna really see how the map relates to where I am I guess I was in the master suite before somehow Because it looked, you know, bedrooms and stuff. So that's the master suite, which is east. Then I'm heading towards the lobby and security now. All right, let's see if that winds up. There's a pool. Must be courtyard. Although the lobby and security, of course, might be on the ground floor. That would make more sense. Oh, I hear footsteps. Can ah, oh, there, there's the owner. So here is another green guard who is not dead. <coughs> from eating poison. What was that noise? 
was your head exploding or a blackjack? I'm going to leave you in this dark corner. Well, that must be the main entrance there. Alright. Maybe. I don't know. The map seems to bear very little resemblance to the actual place, so I'm definitely confused. I guess I'll just have to try to find my way around manually. It's a red guard. Would you like to join your green friend? Well, it seems the only guards that were poisoned were the two guarding the master's secret entrance exit. Oh. I wonder if that's the one I was seeing out the window. Seems likely. So perhaps this is not, as I first thought, someone else has come in and poisoned all the guards. Perhaps simply those guards that were guarding the secret escape have been poisoned. Did the master do that on his way out? Did someone else do that? Someone who wanted to avoid witnesses for something, but uh, I don't know what. Hey. I'm also obviously desirous of avoiding certain witnesses. Another person coming upstairs here? It is too. Let's hope he doesn't see his sleeping friend here. Was... Alright. on that. Oh, what's this? Notice! The master was exceedingly dismayed this morning to discover Blofkin floating dead with a broken neck. A repeat of this incident, where any guard is discovered jumping into the master swimming pool from the open skylight, will be met with 25 lashes from the long whip and no food for a week. Postus, captain of the guards. Oh, I see. This is not... They were jumping into the pool rather than pissing in the pool. Okay. Uh, I guess the skylight opening and closes. I don't know why I would want to close it, so let's open it again. And look around the rest of the roof here. Yeah. anything it appears oh there is a way down here always save before getting on a precarious ladder just in case okay this takes me back to cliffs do these cliffs lead anywhere possibly get around that yeah Hmm, don't think I can get around the next one. I don't 
Let's just go. Ah, we are outside. So there's an archer that wanders up and down here. We are. Oh, what's that? One way down. Is that the main entrance down there then? Oh. This one's shown here. Yeah, so we must be on this side of the building now. Okay, that makes sense. Well, there's our archer friend. Seem to like his job. Looks too bright here. All guards have to report for duty immediately. This is not a drill. They're not coming here. Alright, let's go knock him out. Someone to Just to make sure there's nobody wandering around. Being a nuisance. Alright, I don't think I've got a way down there, do I? Not from here. So then, uh, this is the security room here. Seems like that might be useful to explore. Somebody around nearby. Hello? Is someone there? Uh no, nobody there. Oh that was uh could have been dangerous. I can get past him. Yeah, he's not very wide awake. Okay. Alright, here's where we came down. Uh, didn't come down the ladder. Here's where we went up to the roof. Broadheads. Foster is captain of the guards. Who is not in his chambers. But who does have an apple? Hmm, suspicious. And a safe that appears to have been opened and cleaned out. What's the note? Captain Faustus, I am just a man, not a god who decides, decides who lives and who dies. Please reconsider your order if there is any decency left in your soul. Unsuchious, Chief Cook. Thou art undone, thou bastard fool, Faustus, for in mine own possession have I the master's very own key. A key that thou didst not hide with great care. Whence it be discovered how this key is lost, methinks thou shalt consider a portion of poisoned fruit for thine own mouth, lest the master find it babbling excuses whilst he taketh unending pains to have thee flayed alive for thy latest and greatest of follies. Well, so Frostus ordered the cook to make the poisoned apples, and the cook was not keen on the idea. And somebody, I guess the key was hiding in the safe, somebody has taken the key and left a note for Faustus. Oh, 
Oh, that's this. in this dark corner. There's another guard here. Who is there? It's some intruder! Help! Help! I don't have any flash bombs, so I've got to flash mine. Well, I guess that worked. Even if I had to set off my own mind myself. Uh, a little clumsy, but uh, what to do? Uh, I shall have to play a little more careful, but it's very hard to tell in this map which places are dark and which are not. Because here I am fully hidden. Well, not quite fully, but if I crouch, I'm 100% hidden. But here I'm basically invisible, and there it looks darker, but it's actually quite a lot brighter lit. Which is uh, unfortunate. What's this notice? The master skin has been stolen! All what staff will remain on duty until it is recovered. Well, I intend to recover it, so you may all your guards may stand down. I can use the clock. What's this book say? Solestus Industries front desk log, day three under the Owl Moon. Guests must write the following name, title of any organization, arrival time, who you plan to visit, reason for visit, departure time, sign out when leaving. Blah blah blah. I am Pavla Storm, Viceroy to Fossius of the Dust. If I must sign this book, let it be known that I have arrived upon this mountain four minutes after the eighth hour, if one is to believe this decrepit old clock. And I have come once again to see your master regarding yet more examples of poor workmanship and overdue deliveries. I now depart with little satisfaction, I might add, at half past the ninth hour. Alboas, construction chief. Departing at the 8th hour plus 44 minutes to obtain promises in town for the delivery of additional framing beams in support of freight lift reconstruction. I expect to return at or soon after the noon hour. Until then, questions should be directed at Goth in the workshop or Stannis, who may be in the auditorium checking on a cold draft. I have returned 15 minutes past the noon hour. Seems I have a job seeker waiting for me. Good thing. Been losing too many men over the walls lately. Arlen, wife of the master, departing half past the ninth hour under the protection of Pavla Storm, viceroy to Forsythius the Just, for private business in the city lasting a week or perhaps a little more. I have no exact plan, so none should worry if I am delayed by several days. Franticius, chief counsel for the Enterprise, it is now the eleventh hour shy six minutes by this clock. I have business in town and shall spend the balance of the day there. Plans are to return briefly tonight, then away again for several days thereafter. As promised, I have returned this evening and I am now departing again. For the next three days, you may find me during normal business hours at my offices near the town square for matters that cannot wait. Smithson, my name. I be a carpenter to see Mr. Balboas. I hear there be jobs for scaffolding framers up here. The desk lady says he ain't back yet and I gotta wait till afternoon for him to come back. Suppose I just gotta wait. Could use steady work. Ain't seen nothing since the cathedral finished up. Just why then, 30 hammers got to have a place the size of this here mountain don't make no sense to me. It was good work while it lasted, except for all the preaching and mumbling. Mr. Balboa has come back and give me a job. Says to sign this here log again, because I ain't going to leave, and i got a sign here so as nobody think I don't belong and go looking. It'd be 20 past noon and I'd be staying a while. Morticiel, apprentice lictor, at the 14th hour, save 10 minutes. I depart to attend additional training in the perfection of my art the descriptions of which need not stay in these pages. I will return tomorrow. Prinkus here, sales representative for Old Village Swordsmiths to see Captain Faustus regarding no rust daggers. Owls being of a special metal alloy requiring far less oilings and therefore a lower maintenance cost. Please excuse my appearance, the ill-tempered wizard solicited last night objected to my visit in a most peculiar way. I do hope this wears off soon, it is such an embarrassment to bear one's portfolio and prop one's hat while hopping to my customers and as an overgrown frog. Arrived 20 minutes after the 14th hour, departing at 7 minutes past the 15th hour, having shown my wares to unknown effect. Messenger from Pinchenden Security Services, to deliver a small parcel for Captain Faustus and receive a written message in return. 
Arrived and departed at the 16th hour and one quarter. Squintus, acting treasurer, it is the 17th hour and I depart for my residence in the old village. I shall return tomorrow at my customary time. Your lad is chief alchemist, Iron Maiden Division. It is now the 18th hour, say 15, leaving unplanned upon news of urgent matters. I shall return tomorrow as soon as the gates are open. Now for my log entry. Ha! You can't guard everything, Faustus. Long ago, the elegant woman who occasionally sits behind this desk to polish her lengthening nails has left for the day. A mistress of the master, she never needs to sign this logbook herself and may come and go as she pleases. Whereas I am not allowed to depart this mountain at all, signature or no signature. Nevertheless, I am escaping tonight never to return unless among an army of those bearing flaming torches to put an end to this evil nightmare. To those who may wish to live, beware of foolish plans, deadly fruit, and enraged slaves. How many pages? Oh, there's a lot of blank pages in, in the book. So, that is who poisoned the guards. The same person who left the note for Faustus has left a triumphant final entry in this journal here. A slave, apparently. We don't know who. It's now quarter past nine. Oh, it's a valuable clock. That's why I can use it. Well, I will try selling it. Uh, Alright, so that's the guard spot where I was hiding from that archer. So this is the front doors. Yeah, right, two sets of front doors. Alright, so we are at the main entrance to the lobby here. I haven't been in. I must have been around this area. Or not. I haven't been in there at all, I don't think. Auditorium, cafe, electro electrics. I am. Library. So we're on a mountain top. Okay, that yes, that explains why the main entrance is so low down, why there's lifts that go down below the mountain top. It's like a uh, one of those mountain top monasteries. Have I been here? Yes. I haven't been that way, I haven't been this way. Let's go this way. Lots of windows in this place. A lot of these little bay window bays. I guess useful for hiding if there's guards around and I don't feel like popping them on the bottoms. Interesting noise there from the east. Test chamber two. Authorized personnel only. It's locked. Can I unlock it? Can. Hmm. Could be dangerous. Clearly. There's someone there. Test procedure, electrics 2, beta 1. 1. Insert test subject. 2. Increase voltage until audible response. 3. Remind subject. Information limits discomfort. 4. Compile and tabulate confessed information. 5. Repeat test until subject offers nothing new. Note. Due to the scarcity of test subjects, the final stages of testing will be postponed until production units are fully operational. Corbulus, Chief Alchemist, Electrics Division. You got it. Well, it's a, less a test chamber and more a torture chamber, or at least, I guess, a testing there. Torture implements. Sounds like jolly fun. Somebody asleep there. To the test chamber staff. I had an occasion recently to pass this way, and did note the unpleasant sensation of rotting flesh wafting into my delicate nostrils. Perhaps I am oversensitive in this regard, given how I do not oversee such matters, but for the sake of those like myself who are not accustomed to such experimental results, may I request that you make use of the new disposal tunnels to remove expired test subjects in a more timely manner. Intigus, Chief Alchemist's Project Vision. Fun. 
I saw something. You were asleep. How do you see something? Well, we'll come back for you. Still have not explored this chamber thoroughly to find out who this test subject is. I wonder if this guy doesn't appear armed. I'm just going to try coming up and knocking him out. You may stop your torturing of the subject. I'm going to check down there in a minute. See if there's anything else in this room. No. Well, it seems to be off. Oh wait, this is a disposal tunnel. Is it not? There is no subject there. I think I don't want to go out this way just yet. I may need to check down there later. Uh, I could dispose of you there. Yeah, oh, that's actually that, that's actually the machine, okay. Uh, I don't know if I can get back in if I go down there, although that roof looks like it's wood. Alright, let's let's explore down here. I can Is that wood? That looks like it's wood. Let's try red arrow. Yeah, that's wood. Whoops. Alright, let's go carefully here. So it's test chamber two. This must be the disposal one. Maybe. Oh, this is some passages below the test chamber. I wonder if this connects to the caves I was in. Or if this merely connects, these are disposal tunnels, I guess. That connect with different test chambers. Human Resources Procedure 714, revised by the cleanout crew. Dispose the lighting of dead test and volunteers. 1. If known to be a practice sizing hammer, observe a moment of silence, then gently release the corpse to its oblivion. Methinks they means to keep all the pieces together. 2. If an apostate hammer didn't go to church no more, or if his status is unknown, don't know how tall he was, says a prayer for the clarity of his soul and respectfully set the body into eternity. Blimey to me, that maybe that be one of them cement jobs Josie tells about. 3. If known to be of the mechanist perspiration, kill him for sure, then pitch him over the edge. Well, this is where they dispose of the bodies, alright? And clearly, this leads to another test chamber. Oh, no, it's a lift. So it's just a hammer out place, or hammer related place, I guess. Oof. It's poisier than I wanted. So it's probably gonna take me right up into that chamber in full view of that other person. Is the chamber itself okay? What are those switches are for? Oh, this is the Iron Maiden. Uh, that seems odd. Uh, not sure I'm supposed to do that. I'm kind of stuck now. Those switches do. Oh, they they just control the lift from up here, I guess. Oh. Feels like uh, this floor was made of 
sections that weren't supposed to be probable. Oop. Oh, that is the same fellow. We're stuck. What's that in the shadow there? Me. Knocking you out. Well, I'll just leave you here now, I'll see you through that window. Right, so this is the Iron Maiden test chamber, okay. So... It's very complicated for testing Iron Maidens, I would think. Let's see what I say. I am testing... Oh, that's what I am, is I Iron Maidens. 1. Verify subject dimensions. 2. Restrain subject per procedure 11. 3. Insert subject per procedure 12. Four, close lid per procedure 13. Five, record events that follow. Note, due to the scarcity of testing volunteers, only high priority design changes are to be evaluated on living subjects. Seek out Captain Foster's to determine the availability of test subjects and cadavers. Right, so Celestus Industries makes torture devices, electric ones and iron maidens. Uh, they seem to be a jolly crew. It's facing north. Come back this way. So I was exploring this passage. Yeah, so this is the electrics test chamber. All right. Let's keep going this way. So somewhere I need to find the master's key at the moment. Well, I guess all I know is that the person claiming to be the escaped slave, this door doesn't open, uh, claims to have taken the master's key from Celestus, uh, no, from Franticus, Franticus, the captain of the guard. Well, there's not that Iron Maiden. Always delivery, no doubt. Well, that is a big door. I guess you need it to deliver Iron Maidens. And here we are on the other side. Oh. Alright, there does appear to be a way down here. There's a ladder, a beam, and some cliffs. We're at the eastern edge of the facility. Just here towards the caves. We'll come back. Oh, we do have a guard still. At least one wandering around. Let's. Wait for them here and uh, put them to sleep also. At least with all these guards who are doing a very poor job of keeping me out, I shall. They shall have more test subjects, I guess. Hello? Ah, here we find that. It's dark enough. I think this will just take me around back to. Thought I heard something, it's just the rain sound effects. I'll take me back around to where I was before. Perhaps. Got a nice, uh, got quite a nice kind of little garden out here. Very calming surroundings, I guess, if you're working on torture devices, you need to. Take a break from your work every now and again, and oh, -ho. what is this? Come back in a second. Let's finish looking at the outside. Here is deliveries, maybe. Can't open these doors from the outside. Can't open this one. Uh, right, we're on the north side here, where I haven't been before. 
come back to that. It's a big pool of water. Uh, I don't think I want to go that way. Ah, this must be the lift here at the north side. Big cargo lifts. Okay. Oh, another guard. Is she coming or going? She's coming. I really like the water dripping from the eaves. That's a very nice use of the particles. I don't remember if that ever happened in Thief 2. I think it was only raining in one mission in uh, masks. Hello, sir. Well, it's dark enough here for you to stay here. Nope, oh, there's still a guard inside there. Two sets of footsteps. Are they both indoors? Hello? Show yourself. Yeah, they're both in there, okay. Three sets of No, oh, two sets. Alright, so here's the other left. Okay. Those guys are gonna be interesting. So I wonder if this lift actually functions. It looks like it does. At least there's a there's a room down there. Notice! Until repairs to this lift have been completed, the transport of cargo will be handled on the north brake lift. Due to the poor condition of that lift, all cargo weighing less than 25 stone will be ripped by hand from the overlook near the north lift. Food should be hauled up from the beam overlooking the cliffside cave since this is nearer to the cafeteria. So ordered Balboas, construction chief. Alright, so they're still building this place. I guess if they've got a construction chief. Maybe just repairing the broken lift, I don't know. Bunch of scattered pipes and things. This place is enormous. No wonder I'm getting lost all the time. So we've just been to this lift, so I guess we're walking around here and we're Gonna be back at the security room soon. All this rain puddling everywhere. I think we have now done a full circle because this is the security room. All right. I still have no idea where I'm gonna find the master's key. If there is another copy of it here. If that, uh... Wait, I'm confused. The servant said they escaped. But Felicius was the one who ordered the poisoned apples. That's... Maybe the servant just used them, and Felicius set up the plans for them and took them out of the safe? I don't know. Maybe it was the cook themselves who, uh... That's the one. But obviously, they knew about the poisoned apples. Alright, let's uh, try not to alert these fine fellows. Sure, there was that little passageway below the boulders that I'm going to go check out now. So, this lift is the one they're still using, but uh, presumably, where he doesn't function. Urgent notice. Our freight lift situation is as follows. Repairs to the south lift are delayed, and this north freight lift is ready to collapse. Therefore, until further notice, all dock items weighing less than 25 stone will be ripped by hand from the overlook before you, or from the beam overlooking the caves beyond the cafeteria. To prevent frivolous usage, power to this switchbox will be controlled from the west guard tower. So ordered Balboas Construction Chief. Right. Uh, so, the 
This is one way that they get goods up. Oh yeah, I can see uh, there's a room down here too, all wet. If this lift works, then the West Guard Tower is where I would need to go. And I don't remember seeing it, and I don't want to go to the West anymore. At least not yet, I'm on the North side. Let's check out this room first, and then we'll go to that hole. Some storage. Oh. Ah, a back door. Not so secret anymore. We're back to all to where I've been all around this place already. I didn't have to find my way in from the outside because I started on the inside. Oh, uh, there's a fan just hovering there. Okay. Take some ducts. Uh, back door to the toilets. And I hear a guard. Where is this? Fire arrows, oh, that's nice. Don't know why I need them. I'll certainly take them. Okay, some footsteps. Oh, this place has had corridors everywhere, all around the outside. It's very, very confusing. Right, there's a guard. They're not the one I was hearing out here, were they? No, because they're walking on carpet. That's right, all right. Odd noise. Oh, there's someone else there, too. Hmm. Stuff and things that I don't understand. Switches. Are these lights? Yes, apparently so. Oh, book. Last notebook of Tinkerist Design Artisan, Electrics Division. A new lab book. Oh, how I feel these so quickly. Rubbish, though. Technical trouble all of it. I would write poetry yet, Fair Master. If you ever saw these books used for poetry writing, you would doubtless add this to your ever growing list of offences deserving a lash. And what have I just written, and what I have just written, would cost many more lashes than merely wasting your paper. Is not resistance to your will the highest crime on this hill? I will not see your whipping post again, for I am leaving, and now I may waste whatever paper I wish, ten of your empty books I take, and only this book I leave behind, spoiled by my insolent ink. Fair master, let me set the facts before you. Your workers flee, and those who remain steal for clear reasons, that whipping post, and not enough for us to eat. Those spikes and electric prods, and our dying families in town begging for a crust of bread. We are leaving, my fair master, and we are taking our talent, and whatever else isn't nailed down with us. Certainly the desperate and the sick will fill our places for a time. In a world where the goal of the rich is to pay below a living wage, there will always be those starving enough to eat the crumbs from your table. But your time is coming to a close, for there are also many more who would gladly take a torch to this place and reduce your world to cinders without another thought, even if it meant starving for certain. And now I will leave you one last spoilt page. There once was a master Celestus, whose goal was unending injustice. He flogged us at will, and some did he kill, yet died a poor pauper without us. Oh, 
Well, uh, I was going to say, if that's your poetry, probably best not to quit your day job, but um, I think it seems you have already quit your day job, so best of luck with your poetical endeavours. One of the workshop key places, I guess. Am I hearing someone out there? Oh, yeah. There. Nobody. Hmm. Alright, those must have been away. Philinius! With the recurring failures of the city power grid, we are compelled to learn more about these state-sized electrical generating machines in order to recommend reliable versions of these smaller machines to our customers. Therefore, during the next three weeks, I wish for you to research flaws in the design of various power equipment elements, starting with components delivered today. Although I would prefer to have you working on the core design, the entirety of our business success does boil down to reliable electricity. Corbulus. Oh, he's got a poisoned apple as well. Fun. He hasn't eaten it yet. So I shall save him from that particular fate. Well, hello, there, guard. Turn around. Thank you. Dark shadows here. Oh, well, somebody still at their crafting table. Working late. Oh, there's another guard. And somebody else whistling near me. What's the guard I'm more concerned about? I would use the zoom, except I'm not supposed to have it since I don't have my mechanical eye yet. So let's just watch and see. Don't see your unconscious friend, please. Thank you. Just walk on. Where'd you come from? Oh, they did see them. Maybe. This way. Oh. Well, they saw something, but there's a killer on the loose. There's been a murder already. It's not a murder, they were still breathing. didn't seem overly concerned. Somebody's still asleep at their desk. Well, they don't leave much uh, sleep properly. Sleeping on the job. Department Policy 11217 Revision C. This policy has been defined in order to establish uniformity in the proper application of staff discipline when a member is discovered asleep at his workstation or desk. In accordance with instructions from the master, the duration and extent of punishments will be determined by him alone. Sleep is defined as the inability of a How ironic. He was writing the policy for punishment for people caught sleeping at their desks as he was caught sleeping at his desk. Luckily for him, I am not the master. Oh. Wrath potion, why would I need a wrath potion? Must be a large body of water somewhere. Oh, 
Hard. Are they coming this way? Alright. Um, there's definitely lots of guards still around. That I'll have to deal with. Uh, but I'm going to stop the episode here. Make myself a cup of tea. And I will see you here for the next episode. Thanks for watching.